what's going on guys LCG here back with another episode of Fallout 4 so we're gonna get started right quick on our main storyline I already come up here and I'm ready to show dog meat the cigar dog meat get the scent boy got something boy all right so now we gotta follow this little fella Apparently he's going to take us to Kellogg, or at least get us on the right track to Kellogg. It'd be a little uncharacteristic of Fallout to take us straight there, Everybody but... Keep looking at me like that. I'm gonna start thinking you're a sin. Get your copy of the public. We expose the truth behind the inside. Like we're heading out to the Fens. So for those of you who are just now tuning in, this might be your first episode or it might be a latter one. I do follow the storyline. I do let every character talk. And this might be a storyline intense episode. I'm not really sure. But for the next 30 to 40 minutes, I'm going to follow this quest line. Right up until it ends. Or not until it ends, but until the 30 to 40 minute marker hits. At that point, we'll cut the episode and pick up on the next one. So, before we get too far out here, I do kind of want to switch my weapon. Alright. So, oh, we got 200 energy cells for that guy. But we're going to switch to this. And how's our health looking? I, I think I topped that off already. Diamond City is the place to live, I tell you. I made the right choice. I've actually been kind of missing dog meat. I forgot he wasn't following me. He's normally the one that tips me off to anybody in the area. Not that I couldn't find them without him, just search for clues to catalog. San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy, let's track him. And we're off. San Francisco Sunlight. That sounds actually awfully pleasant. I'm not a big cigar guy. Despite them being rampantly popular in the military, not really my cup of tea. I'm also trying to save some of my... What in the holy hell? Magnum rifle too. It does a fair amount of damage. Thing over here, what are we looking at? Have I been here before? Alright. It's kinda creepy. Search for clues to Kellogg. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Tell me what's up, dog meat. Okay, boy. Let's track him. <laughs> All 
right, so far we found just a cigar by a pond. Then we get down here, there's a dismembered body from bloody bandages. So maybe he got into a scuffle of some sorts? Got in some trouble of his own on his journey across the wasteland, so to speak. This is not good at all. Alright. Um, old Faithful, Righteous Authority. Let's see how you do. For now. What the hell? Excuse me, uh, sir. Would you happen to know the way to Bunker Hill? I don't, but give me your caps anyway. You must need them more than I do. Here you go. Ah, that was easy. So that, uh, Wowiei? Butchering that pronunciation. Not exactly a... Not exactly a vegetarian, if you know what I'm saying. I'd say I'm average than most, you know what I mean? I spent six years in high school. How many people do you know that can say they've done that, huh? Alright, no, I didn't really spend six years in high school. I know a lot of you are sitting back right now going, this guy, he's an idiot. Alright, you alerting me to something, dog meat? Yeah, I see. There's a chair here. Sleeping bag. Gwyneth Stout. One of his creature comforts. Dude, you're gonna show the dog a bottle of whiskey? Okay, boy. Let's track him. This is incredible. I really can't believe the amount of effort that goes into these games. I want to give... I want to give extra credit to Bethesda for their work on both Fallout and Skyrim. I just get over there, dog. from this rifle. I want to go back to the Magnum. Revolver rifle, that's what it was. Nice jump, buddy. Missing out on a ton of bo wooden block, I and D. I don't know what that is. Oh. Oh, wrong one. Probably a wooden block. The letters I and D on them. I 
need to come back through here and just explore some of this stuff. They they kind of rush you through it. Fucking but I'm sure there's a... Exercise extreme caution. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Oh, but look at this. Another one of his stogies. Them damn stogies. <laughs> yeah, they rush you through all this terrain and sweet stuff. There's got to be some storyline built into all of it. Well, I say has to because that's just the way the Bethesda operates, but... So all these little encampments on the side of the road and things like that, there's almost always somebody you can tie back to a particular home. Real cool, especially if you do the pre-explosion, post-explosion look at the game. It's almost like reading an incredible novel. Who am I kidding? I can barely read anyway. You've leveled up. Really like to. I feel like we're onto something. What do you think, boy? Was this our man? Show me what you got, dog meat. I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there are jets flying overhead right now. And they can be incredibly loud. This sounds like a probably a low rumble in the background of the recording, if so. It's real neat, they recently had an, an air show here. And uh, I got to see the F-22 Raptor for any of you military buffs. Check on dog meat. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? Find a way into Fort Hagen. Yeah, the F-22 Raptors, I'm not a huge air buff at all. I'm actually probably the opposite. Um, I focus on a lot more ground-related activities, particularly in the military. I think uh, I told you guys... Oops. I think I told you guys in the last episode, or maybe it was a couple episodes ago, that I used to be a machine gunner, and I have since, that's how I got the channel name, uh, Lima Charlie is really bad radio etiquette for saying loud and clear. So, ooh. if I can just deactivate that. Oh, 
Oh man, I could have thought that one through a little bit better. Really bad radio etiquette to stay loud and clear. But most recently that's been my my job is setting up uh, radio circuits and operating them. The primary job being a radio operator, uh, both on mission and off, wherever I was needed. So you might notice the logo is the, the traditional skull, but he has a uh, got a headset on. A headset's not for gaming. Silly goose. No. The ones we use in the military. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, I have no reason to be taking the fuses. But I also have no reason not to. That's a door. That's a perfectly good door. Why can't I go through it? Dog meat. It's targeting card. All right, so we're not going to get into the front. Door. Looks like we cleared out all the turrets now. Okay, if there's anything else on the ground level. I guess we probably could have done this. Maybe not. Last pole. Got the drop arm. Looks like a little parking garage. We'll probably end up going into Fort Hagen through the bottom of the building. What do we got over here? Chemistry station. We're gonna make some uh, make some drugs, are we? Probably come in through the base of the building. Fort Hagen, here we are. We're about 18 minutes into this episode now, so looks like we should have plenty of time to go ahead and clear this building today. Don't know what will happen after that. But with any luck, Kellogg will be in here. Haven't detected. Curious. Hello. Kidding me. Chained on the other side. Are you attempting an ambush? Is someone present? All right, I think. No T H I N or K. There is an F A C E or S.
repairs. It only has one C A R E R S. An E. What is not? Yeah, you keep watchdog me. I'm gonna keep poking at this. A N G U R S. One of those. This is bad. This is real bad. All right. Angus. A N G U M O. Break this episode right here and I'm going to poke at this for a bit. I will let you know when I get that. Stand by. What's going on guys? LCG here back. So as I was hacking that terminal, I got it open, but I got ambushed very quickly by a bunch of synths almost as soon as I activated it. Which is bad news for me, bad news for them. That It is really, really bad. So, I am still kind of in recovery mode here. Sorry, everybody in there. What was that for? The protector on shooting at me too. Put down your <clears throat> and submit to authority. Alright. Before this gets any worse. Let's suck down some new Coca-Cola. Switch our weapons. We're going to I don't want to use up all that ammo. Let's see how this works out. This isn't bad. I'll use an auto pistol. So, I got ambushed almost immediately as soon as I unlocked that protector on. I missed a little bit of footage, but not a lot. You guys should be able to uh, fill in the gap of me killing two since. What the hell? Where are you? Combat initiated. There's no way to get in there?
Oh, they're upstairs. Two lower door weapon. <coughs> All right, we need to dump some some aid into this guy. Close time. We'll take some medics. Dog me will get out of my way. What do you got for me now? I think it was literally last episode where I said I wasn't expecting a whole lot of energy weapons. Turns out, I'm exactly wrong. Another thing is that there's normally a place where you can disable all of those turrets. It just so happens to be Stealth I didn't see one. Fascinating. If they return, I will be ready. Hostile sensor reading detected. We need to get on that side of the wall. Or to get down. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. No place to go up here? Dog meat, move. You know, for being the best dog I got, you're still a bit of an idiot sometimes. Guns there and bullets. Ballistic weapons permanently do plus five percent critical damage. Take that. Table knife. Just for gits and shiggles. Why was the upstairs so heavily defended? There really isn't much here. I'm not gonna lie, I got kind of um, excited there. Moved a little quickly. This is where we come up. All right, bam, we get into here. Cleared all this out. Dora, yeah, you can go potty now. Movement detected. Curious. Odd. My scanners must be malfunctioning.
don't think it was your scanner malfunctioning. Is someone present? After all that trouble, when you get in there, block. Oh, now we get to go up. Going up. Come on in, dog meat. Surprise, surprise, I didn't walk straight into a alleyway of turrets. Hello. Oh, well maybe I did. Move, dog me! Just like a real dog. You know what? They can't be bothered to come after me. Oh. Dog me. You have got to go. I need to put you down. Where did you go? Use oil cans. They were wise to flee. They were wise to flee. Combat initiated. I have sustained a head wound. Perception impaired. Liquor bottles, desk fans, enamel buckets, all this stuff that I don't even need. I don't know why yeah, you keep throwing this. Friend, the frozen TV dinner. My lab. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. I shoot though? What? I don't even know what those actually do. Oh look, one bottle cap. Oh, yes. That was trivial. For a ton of miss eight missiles? You wonder what I'm about to walk into. This 10 millimeter pistols really turn out to be uh, way underrated, though. You know what? Since we have a level up, uh, those are all non-automatic pistols. Melee, melee. Yeah, I don't do pickpocketing. We'll take more ammo and containers. That's been one thing I consistently, consistently spend money on. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years, but I don't need a Here we go. 
We're creeping up on, it looks like 33 minutes right now. Not too bad, this is a command center. Um, see what's got, we got going on down here. I try, I try and I try really hard, but I do very poorly at keeping the episodes around 30 minutes. Huh. Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, I figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Yeah, I try real hard, but I don't always do so well at it. Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not going to go your way. I can't tell if that's a recording or if that's Kellogg actually trying to talk to me. Judging by the fact that he just made a reference to me not making it to Diamond City... Oh, this isn't good. Do they just start giving you ammo like that? Always question why. That's something I learned playing the Resident Evil games from PlayStation 2. You kind of drugs these guys are taking. Oh. Huh. Locker rooms are normally littered with things like that. Okay. Whoever or whatever you are, I know you are out there. game's starting to get to me guys doing poorly and you guys are letting me get away with it if you think I'm doing poorly in this episode please leave a comment and tell me LCG you are doing poorly if you've made it if you've made it this far I'll at least take that much of a compliment. Unless surprise around that corner. Radaways, Impact. Cafeteria area here.
Some of these rooms get really dark. I can't tell if that's going to impact what you guys are able to see or not. Oh, well, there goes the armory password. That'll make this easy. You got guts and determination. That's admirable. But you are going for your head. You can't possibly comprehend. but you know that's not going to happen. We need a noodle cup. We got plenty of those. You have that here. option. Not a lot of people can say that. <coughs> Once again, my dog just bumped me out of the line of fire. I still insist this game is flunky. At minimum. Now let me in. See how easy that was, dog meat? Get a grip. I know you guys heard that. That was just a truck going down nice. the street. And nothing worth grabbing in there. Red X, Red X, Red X. Tons of bobby pins, yes. I'm actually really, really concerned right about now. This is what we might experience in here. Anytime you come upon an armory? What in the hell? For the first time in history, I'm not encumbered when I pick something up. All right. Yep. All right. Stand by. I'll bring you guys right back as soon as I break into this. All right. Sit tight. All right, guys, we're back. Turret control. We're going to deactivate the last remaining three. Because I do not want to deal with them. Oh, what do you got in there? You been drinking a little shower beer? Is that what that is, huh? You're doing the shower beers? I'm under the impression that this guy has some means of knowing where I am. And this would make, oh, military grade duct tape. The cheapest crap you can find. I'm okay with that. Okay, you made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. There they are, roaring down the street again. Sweet. Yep, I need them fusion cells. All day, every day.
Alright, so what do you guys think? Uh, would this be a good time to break the episode? No. No, we're gonna go ahead and go all in. There he is. I do not believe. Sorry about that guys, I had something pop up so I had to cut the recording, but I did not finish. We're going to pick right back up, right where we left off, so here we go. You're not as soft as I thought. What? Oh, stealth boy. Good work, Kellogg. Ass wipe. Guy's kind of smoking me. The doozy. Ah, oh, grenades, man. Not bad. You know what? Now would be a good time for us to switch to a more rapid fired weapon. You know what? Let's go with uh We'll go with righteous authority. Sean's gone! You'll never see him again. <laughs> Duck in, get some more aid in us. In the form of two more noodle cups. All this tech. Kellogg's pistol. Oh yeah. Standard receiver, bull barrel, comfort grip, and standard sights. We'll go ahead and take that. Fragmentation. Ah. All right. So apparently I'm way overweight. Nope. Maybe not way, but. Hello. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, I think that's a... I think that's good. I think that's real good. Drop that. Um, I already hit the wrong button there. Um... I don't really want to drop that. So let's check out the weapons that we have. Um, that's cute and all, but we're gonna get rid of it. Short double barrel, we'll get rid of you. And that brings us at least to a point that we can hold stuff. We are a security baton. Because, I'm sure... Yeah, they keep using this sort of military grade, like that's some sort of... perk or something that we want. We don't want the cheapest garbage that could be made for the lowest price. Uh... We're going to have to use his password probably to open up those doors. You know what? Actually, we're going to end this episode here. So we just finished off uh, old Kellogg. We got his password for this terminal. So we're going to we're gonna cut the episode here. Tomorrow we'll pick up. Opening up these doors, clearing those out. And seeing what else is going on in this main storyline. See what we got from killing him. Because that doesn't seem like something we'd want to do. You'd think we'd want to interview him. So... Once again, make sure if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button if you want to see more of our content and get updates when you see 
or when that comes through, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I look forward to see you guys in the near future. Take care.